Okay, in this video we're going to talk about finding surface area and the formulas to find surface area are as follows. So it says if you want to go about the x-axis we have to use the, for the formula 2 pi y ds and we'll talk about this ds in just a second. Okay, so we've got some function, we're rotating it about the x-axis. Um, likewise, it says if we want to go about the y-axis, we use the formula 2 pi x ds. Okay, so you have no choice which one of these two you use. If you're going about the x-axis, you have to use the first one. If you're going about the y-axis, you have to use the second one. But the place where you do have some choice is on the ds formula. So remember from arc length, um, this is basically where the ds is coming from we're going to use the arc length formula of 1 plus f prime of x quantity squared dx or we'll let it be g prime of y squared plus 1 the square root of all that okay so I'm going to do a simple example just illustrating um, the two formulas so in this first example um, maybe the only one we'll have time for on, on this video I'm going to take the curve y equals square root of x between the x-coordinates of 4 and 9. So there's y equals square root of x um, between the x-coordinates of 4 and 9. I went ahead and calculated the corresponding y-coordinates as well to get 2 and 3. And we're just going to rotate this about the x-axis. Okay, so again, we have to use the formula 2 pi y ds. Okay, now again, we have a choice here as to the ds formula we, we're going to use. I'm going to first use the 1 plus f prime of x squared dx formula and um, we'll calculate it that way first. Okay, so if we do that in this case, I'm going to have 1 plus, okay, my function in this case here um, if we rename it, we can say f of x is just going to be square root of x, or x to the one-half. So the derivative of that will get one-half x to the negative one-half. Properties of exponents, we can put the square root back in the bottom. So the derivative will be one over two square root of x quantity squared dx. Okay, so if we simplify um, the stuff underneath the square root. It looks like we get 1 plus 1 over, we have to square both parts, so we'll get 4x, made my square root a little big there, dx. Okay, and this is now what's going to go in our formula. Okay, so we have to fill in the left hand side here of this thing. Let's see if I can't scroll this down real quick. Okay. So I'm going to fill in our formula 2 pi y ds. So it says we have 2 pi. Okay, now again, I'm going to fill in my ds formula first. And this is the ds formula we're using. It's 1 plus 1 over 4x. And let me give myself a little more room here. So let me erase uh, this stuff. And again, we're integrating this now with respect to x. That, that's the ds formula we chose. Okay, that means everything inside of my formula needs to be in terms of x. So normally there's a 2 pi y here, but again, y we know in terms of x is just square root of x. So that's what will go inside of there. And since I'm using the dx version, my limits of integration will come from the x-axis, so we have to use from 4 to 9. Okay, so now it's a matter of trying to simplify this thing down and um, integrate it. Okay, so this will be from 4 to 9. We've got 2 pi square root of x. Now, I'm just going to get common denominators um, underneath the square root. I would get 4x um, plus 1 over 4x dx. And to integrate this, that's going to be from 4 to 9. Again, I've got 2 pi. I've got square root of x. We could write this as the square root of the top, which is 4x plus 1. If you take the square root of the bottom, we'll get 2 square root of x dx. Well, this is nice because now the 2's cancel. 
the square roots of x cancel. I'm going to go ahead and pull my pi out front. I've got 4 to 9. Um, and then I'm just simply left integrating 4x plus 1 dx. So let me uh, go back up here. Um, backtrack here a little bit. <coughs> Okay, so if I squeeze this in now back up here, so what we would do is to integrate this is we should let do a u substitution, let u be 4x plus 1, du will be 4 dx, or if we divide we'll get 1 fourth du equals dx. <coughs> we have to change our limits of integration as well, so the original lower limit was when x was 4, so 4 and 4 is 16 plus 1, we'll get 17, and then if you plug in 9, you'll get 36 plus 1, or 37. My dx is being replaced by the 1 fourth, so I'll pull that out front, du. And then underneath the radical, I just have square root of u left over. Okay, so if we integrate, this is 1 fourth pi. u to the 1 half will become u to the 3 halves. Multiply that by 2 thirds. Again, we have to plug in 17 and, whoops, 37. So let's see, the 2 and the 4 will make a half, so it looks like we get pi over 6. <clears throat> and then we're going to have 37 raised to the 3 halves power uh, minus 17 raised to the 3 halves power. And that's going to be our now the surface area. So I am not going to bother to simplify that number down at all. We'll just leave it like that. Okay, so this is one way to do it. Um, it already looks like I think I'm going to run out of time. I've already used probably about seven or eight minutes. So um, take a glance at the follow-up. I'm going to do the exact same problem, but now I'm going to use the opposite DS formula.